What's up, everybody? Mr. Proach here. We are back for another flight. This time, we're actually going to take off from uh, Henderson Airport out here in Las beautiful Las Vegas. And we're heading over to Telluride, the uh, famous airport, essentially next to south of Aspen, Eagle County. It's a very nice approach. We're going to take the uh, VOR Alpha in. We're actually going to do the full, we're going to attempt the full procedure turn, but I believe from the direction we're coming from, we may not be able to. And we just do the straight in VOR approach. Without any further ado, let's get in the aircraft and bring it to life. All right, here we are. First thing we're going to do is come over here and get the battery power on and then we'll get dispatch on down here. That way we can come right to our FMC here and get the external power on. All right, external power is on. So we are good to go. Let's get position it here. Let's see, let's get Kilo, November. Oh, actually, no. Kilo, Hotel, November, Delta. Let's see if that would take. Of course, it's not going to take. So we'll clear that. There we go. All right. Yeah, our index in. We'll just go ahead and go to our flight plan. We talked about Kilo, Hotel, November, Delta is our departure point, Henderson. And we are going to Kilo Tango Echo X-Ray. All right, tell you right. Perfect. As always, you know, flight number is going to be November two zero. Mike Sierra. We're actually on the VASIM network. Where unfortunately, there are no controllers on at the moment. So maybe a control hop on before we uh, either depart or land. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and come over here to a performing knit. We're going to be actually climbing to flight level 450. Let's see. Let's look at our sim brief and see how much fuel we need. Our plan gate fuel is going to be 2.5. So we have 2.8 in there. It's fine. We'll see if we can actually take out some fuel. So we can depart out of here with 2.5. All right. We'll see what that gives us in a bit. Uh, first things first, let's look at our zero fuel. It's going to be 11.4. 11, 11.47. There we go. Zero fuel weight. We got sense is at 2.6. So let's take out. Take down a small amount. Let's try. Oh, that's too much. Let's try 44%. 11460. All right, there we go. 2.5. We are good to go. Everything is set there as far as our takeoff's concerned. Do we need to come back? Let's do some of this. Let's do our flight plan first before we start doing our performance. All right, we'll come over here. We're actually going to do, be doing a departure. So we'll come over here, departure. We're doing a scammer too. And it's going to be scammer two with the PGA transition. So Papa Golf Alpha which is actually going to be the page VOR. I'm going to be using, utilizing based on the current wind. Let's look at the weather real quick. All right, it looks like winds are 180 at eight. So we are going to be using, utilizing runway one seven right. All right, we'll go ahead and 
at the next page here. Once we have that, oh, we'll execute that. Awesome. 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 All right. Let's go back here. Position it. Flight plan. Now we can go next page. After the page viewer, next is going to be Delta India, Charlie Echo Echo Dice. And we're going to Charlie Echo Zulu. That's going to be the Cortez VOR there. And we're going to Hotel Alpha Victor Whiskey Uniform. Have you? And then we're going to. From there, once we that fix, we're going to the cones BOR, which is what we're actually going to use utilize to shoot our approach there. All right, everything checks out. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down here. Let's get rid of this. Come down here, lower menu, and we're going to come down. See if we can look at our plan. All right, and then we'll come down here. And we'll step through our plan real quick. So first things first. Carver is going to be our first waypoint. And Boyt. There's Carver, Boyt. And then Ziggler. From Ziggler, go over to Scammer. Scammer over to Nit. Or oh, I'm sorry. Yep, Ursula. Then Nit. There we go. From Nit, we're going over to the previously mentioned page VOR from page go to dice from dice over to Cortez VOR and then have you and then finally the cones VOR which should be utilizing the uh, VOR alpha into tell you right all right let's go back over here so our flight plan is good to go. We'll go ahead and do our init here. Looking like we still have 2.5. Awesome. Our zero fuel is already there. Take off where we are. Current winds, as we said, is going to be 190 at eight knots. Temperature is currently 30 degrees C. Very hot. And then altimeter, we're looking at two nine or eight, eight, two nine or eight, eight. All right. Awesome. Good to go. Yep. Runway is going to be dry. We're out here in the desert, so it shouldn't be a factor there. Next page. We got V one 93 VR 95 V two 108 and then VT, which is we're looking at across the threshold. It's going to be 140. We'll go ahead and send that to the uh display over there everything is good yep it's gonna be a flat 15 takeoff anti are gonna remain off and we are good to go all right looks like performance is complete so now we can actually start our engines we're gonna start with engine one All right, so we're monitoring the engine start up here. Looks like there is the FedEx introducing fuel. There's light off. There's rise in N2. And one is on the rise well. Here's our ITT coming alive. I don't know why we have our lap position, but we'll bring it back. We'll bring it up. All right, we're looking for the starter advisor to disappear. That's how we know we have a good start. So. And then N2 should be roughly in the lower 20s or N1. I mean, there's N1 coming up. N2 is rising, may potentially be in the 50s. There we go. Up lower 50s. Starter advisory has dropped. Now we can start engine number two. Let's go ahead and engage the starter. 
Then we just have the Feta control the start there. Once we will go here and bring this back up to position. There we go. All right. So now we have light off fuel flow is being introduced there. We are good to go. Now we're just waiting for the, uh, and one to rise and the start advisory to disappear. We'll go ahead and bring our checklist. So we'll go with normal checklist before starting engines, which we should have done. That's on, on emergency switch right over here. Actually, we'll come back to that. As soon as you have a good engine start. Ooh, it is very bright. Let's figure out where this emergency. All right. We have emergency light. Here it is. Ooh, that's bright. All right. Plays dispatch parking brakes already set. Chocks are removed. Cabin door is closed. Patrick briefing would say is done. Seat belt, pedals, all that is adjusted. Lights. Uh, we'll bring the. Now that we have engine started, we'll actually bring some lights on. We'll bring some beacon light, nav light. Bring our strobe on there. And we'll hold off our taxi and landing light. I cast is good. FMS is checked and set. Climate control is off. All right. So start engines. We should have done this our checklist before we start engines. Anyway, stalls are idle already. Engine starter is done. Engine run is done. ITC has already been monitored. I cast is checked. And we're starting the opposite engine. External power. We'll go ahead and disconnect that actually. All right, ground power is off. All right, electro system. So generators are on. We are good to go there. All right, avionic switch. Here's our avionic switch. We'll bring it to on. Good to go. Climate control. We'll bring that to norm. Did you hear the air start going on? There it is. All right, next up is going to be passenger lights and uh, safety. So we'll go ahead and get those lights on, get them ready to go. At this time, please comply with the illuminated All right, that's done. Trim is right here. It's so in the green. We'll just put it a little bit in the green, more like in the middle. There we go. Good to go. Light controls. We'll check that. Make sure it is free and correct. All right, let's look. Full right, full left, neutral, full left, full forward, neutral. All right, let's look down here. We have full right, full left, neutral. All right, as far as here, it is free and correct. We'll look over our wing real quick. All right, there is a full left, full right. Awesome, full left. Well, that's going to be on the tail there. We'll take a look at it. Full aft and full down. Good to go. Full right. Full left. Free and correct. All right. Next thing. Flight controls are complete. Speed brake and ground spoiler is right over here. We're going to check that real quick. We'll go full. Make sure everything lift and then we'll go bring it back to zero. Good to go. All right, speed brakes checked. Flaps, we'll bring it. Flat 15 is what we said we are going to be doing for our takeoff. Flat 15 is set. Hydraulic pressure, we'll go ahead and bring that up. We can bring the uh, system page up right over here. Hydraulic pressure, as you can see. We are 3000 PSI. Good to go. All right. Engine to ice not required. It is very hot day here. Takeoff data. We've already done. It's going to be V1 93 VR 95 and V2 1 108. Good to go. Verify avionics are checked autopilot. So we'll go ahead and engage autopilot here and we'll autopilot. disengage it. 
and reset. All right. That is set. Altimeter, we'll go ahead and set that. We said it was 2988. All right, 2988 set. Let's make sure that checks out. Yep, fuel elevation here is 2492. Very close. Nice. All right. Altimeter set pressurization is in the green there. Good to go. All right, I cast checked. Everything is normal. F divider doors will be latched. Finally, all right, we are up to our ex taxi checks. We got our exterior lights on. We'll go ahead and bring our taxi light on. All right, taxi light is illuminated. All right, brakes. We're back to get ready to taxi. So we'll go ahead and hold the brakes, get the parking brake off. And then we'll finish the rest of the checklist real quick. Brakes are parking brake are released. We'll check the brake in a bit. All right, let's go ahead. This guy should not be there. So brakes are off. Come a little forward. Make a little left right hand turn, and then. We'll idle and check the brakes brakes are good to go all right what else we have on our taxi checklist brakes are checked nozzle steering is good to go flight instruments are good everything's good now we're gonna taxi out and then we're knock out before takeoff right at the whole short as I stated we are going to take runway 17 All right, hence the traffic. traffic. Citation, Citation 20, zero, zero, Mike Sierra, Sierra is, is taxiing out. out. All right, seem to have an echo there. All right, actually we need to tune up. That's where the echo's coming from. Let's go tune. One two two dot eight. There we go. Throw that in com one. All right, let's look at our taxi plan. Actually, you know what? We need to brief our departure. So let's go ahead and actually set that parking brake here. And then we'll brief our departure. All right, as far as departure brief is concerned, we're going to be doing the uh, scammer two departure scammer transition from runway one seven right. Uh, after takeoff, we're going to climb to a heading of one six eight to intercept the course. Uh, and then uh, one nine nine to Carver, as we already briefed, then track one six zero to Boyt. And then we're going to look across Boyt at or below or remain at or below six thousand there. And then on track to uh, 090 to Ziggler. And then on track 045 to Scammer. So we'll go ahead and set that in. 6,000. There we go. 6,000 is set. 6,000 is set. That takes care of our departure brief. We'll take a look at our taxi plan so we are going to runway 17 and it looks like we're going to be going via Foxtrot and then on to Alpha Foxtrot is right on our right to our right over here all right that takes care of that all 
and Henderson Traffic Citation 20 Mike Sierra's Taxi and Runway 17 via Foxtrot Alpha Henderson. All right, that is complete. Parking braking come off, and we can start coming forward. Let's pick up the taxi line right over here, and we'll be proceeding to the left. You know what? This is why we do checklists. We need to turn. We turn our backup on. All right, there we go. Standby display is on. We'll go ahead and set the altimeter there. Two nine or eight eight. Two nine or eight eight set. Only thing left now is to do our before takeoff and our takeoff checklist and we'll be complete. Here's Foxtrot right over here. We're going to be coming right for runway or uh, taxiway Foxtrot and we'll be proceeding north for Alpha. So here we are on Alpha. We have beautiful Vegas in the background over there. All right, as we taxi, let's go ahead and get our nav on. And we're actually going to be doing the flight level change. We'll be doing 240. Set that in a bit. All right, we'll be coming right and hold it short of runway 17 right. All right, let's complete some of our checklist. Let's go ahead and set the parking brake. Complete some of this uh, before takeoff checklist. All right, ice protection is not required. Rudder bias not required. Seats are checked. Flaps are set. E brake is at zero. Firm. Trim is set in the green. Set for takeoff. Crew briefings complete. T cast will come down here. We'll get our T cast to T A R A. There we go. And we're actually coming here. Put it on norm. Guess said radar not required. Go around button. Let's go ahead and press that. There it is. Go around is set. Gonna be approximately uh, 10 degrees nose up. Checked. Battery amp. We are 46, 46, 29 volts all in the green there. Good to go. Ice protection not required. Pedo heat. We'll go ahead and bring that on. Pedo heat set, exterior lights, we'll go ahead and bring the uh, landing light, uh, taxi light on, landing light on, there we go. ICAST is checked, everything is in the green, Check off, checklist complete, takeoff is going to come pretty fast, we'll go ahead and knock out that checklist right now, we got throttle, bring it advanced to takeoff, check it, make sure that N1, the N1 command bug is in the green go brakes obviously will release and then control we were looking to rotate at VR of 95 that is set checklist complete the next thing after takeoff go ahead and get the brakes parking brake off parking brake is off and set 
everything is good to go. 6,000 is set in the Altu selector. Minister of Traffic Citation 20 Mike Sierra is taking runway 17 right will be departing to the south. Anderson. There's the wind sock. Yep. Winds 190. Confirm with the wind sock. Good to go. All right. There we go. Hold the brakes and advance the power levers to takeoff. Check. There we have takeoff set. Brakes release. All right. Airspeed's alive. There's 80 knots. There's 90 and there's V1. Nose coming up. All right, there's pause the rate. Gear come up. We have V2. Flaps come up. Alright, we'll go ahead and bring the power lever back to a climb detent there. And climb. There's 3,000 for 6,000. Thousand feet to go. There we go. Level off at five thousand there and come left. Bring that power to the cruise detent so we don't overspeed. Remember, below 10,000 feet, you're limited to no more than 250 knots indicated. All right, there's our next turn coming left. Don't descend. We are hand flying this whole route. There's Boynton. And we are cleared to climb. No, we don't have a 6,000 feet limit anymore. So, what we'll, so we're going to do, go ahead, advance the power levers to the climb detent. And oop, get that nose up. Get that nose up so we don't overspeed. There we go, and we'll go ahead and bring the altitude up. We'll reset the flight directors there. And we'll get the altitude all the way down to up to flight level 350. Or 
All right, there's above 10,000. We'll get, get some lights off, taxi lights off, landing lights gonna come off. And we'll go ahead and make our left hand turn. There's ten above ten thousand. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the engage the autopilot. To go to nav. There we go. Autopilot's engaged. All right, let's go ahead and get some of these system checklist items off so we can actually see our path. There we go, system is off. And we'll go ahead and knock out the uh, after takeoff, landing gear is set, flaps are zero, throttles are in the climb detent. The yeah, damper is already on, comes on with the autopilot, I believe. There we go. Autopilot is already engaged, as protection are required, and passenger light button we'll go ahead and uh, let the passengers free to do to roam around Landing lights are up pressurization is good altimeter is set actually we need to set that there we go standard is set on both checklist is complete let's go ahead and get that back on Nice and beautiful view. All right, let's go see what the aircraft doing. Make sure it's not stalling us. All right, yep. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually VSI up. Bring that down a bit. There we go. Let's get some, some of that nose down. Build that airspeed back up.
All right, let's go make sure everything is going well with the aircraft. So we are flight level 290. Airspeed is building up nicely. Still in the climb detent. So as you get higher and higher in altitude, obviously the pressure and starts to get less dense or the air starts to get less dense. So we don't go as fast. So in order to maintain our airspeed, we need to keep decreasing our VSI. All right, looks like we have about 46 miles till our next point, which is Nitz. No, we're not quite at our cruise altitude yet, but we can start our cruise tunes. Right, let's quickly head inside make sure aircraft is good which it is we have about 10,000 feet to go Let's take a look at our mock speed, see if we can. We're doing Mach 0.64, that's actually perfect where we should be at.
All right, let's see how much more we have. We have about 5,000 feet to go. We can start working that nose down. Actually, that, this works out perfect still. So bumpy up here with these mountain winds. There's your altitude call. We got a thousand feet to go. Make sure everything's good to go, and then we're uh, set our power. All right, see where I'm at. We can start getting that nose down a bit. There we go, there's altitude cap. Those should be coming down and our airspeed will start building up. There's the altitude, we'll bring that power to cruise setting. And then we'll see our airspeed start building up. You've got, looks like 105 miles until we're at the page VOR. All right, cruise power set. So now we're just waiting. With the cruise power set, our airspeed should be creeping up slowly. It is. There's 184, 185. All right, we're at cruise. Let's go ahead and take a, a look at our some of our performance. Fuel burn real quick, fuel management. Looks like we have about an hour and two minutes and our reserve fuel is gonna be 750. We're currently doing 415 over the ground right now. And then our range to reserve, we have 426 miles to our reserve, which works out very nicely. Currently we're burning, it looks like 11.36 is our fuel flow. Should be coming down momentarily. So far I used 987 pounds of fuel there. And then we have 42 minutes till our, uh, our estimated time in route. All 
All right, let's get back to our legs. There we go. Let's bring that power back a bit. All right. Let's see what 92% in, in one gets us. And then we'll take a look down here at our fuel flow again. Let's make sure something happened to with that power adjustment there. All right. So we are currently burning 734. Nice. There we go. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. We'll maintain that about 93%, 92% NR or N1. There we go. 91% N1 should set us very well for the power. We'll go ahead and take a look at our approach so we can start planning for it. We're going to be doing a VOR alpha. Based on the heading we're coming from, looks like we can't even do the procedure turn. Yeah, so it looks like we are not authorized to do the procedure turn from where we're coming from. So we just go straight in. So we'll start playing for that. It looks like we need to cross the VOR at 12,500. So. What we can do now we have alt actually let's set the power up a bit. Let's see if that gives us now that we have alt capture, we can come bring the L2 down here. We'll bring the L2 selector to 12,500. And then we'll hit, we'll come down here. We'll hit uh, B nav and we'll come to our FMS. See what we can do. We can throw in our approach. So we can do that by coming here. Arrival. Be doing the VOR alpha. Go ahead and execute that. Unfortunately, so if you don't have a runway put in, it doesn't give you. We'll go ahead and see if we can grab some numbers. Data link, weather, we'll request it to request Kilo, Tango, Echo, X-Ray. Oh, clear that up. Kilo, Tango, Echo, X-Ray. We'll go ahead and send for that for the weather. All right, weather should be received. We'll go here. All right, looks like the winds are one, three, zero at three knots. So we'll be doing runway zero nine clear, 10 section miles clear and 11 on the three zero four three. All right, cool. So we have that, we'll go to perf approach. All right, so winds 130, five knots. Temperature was 11. Altimeter 3043 is what we had. 
we do clear that. Let's see if we're to let us put runway nine. Unfortunately, unless you put a runway, it won't give you the performance. Let's see if we can. What we're going to do is come to arrival. Just change this to runway nine. Or we'll go ahead and execute that. Then we'll come approach. And then, so it's going to give us performance that will go ahead and send it. So we have our VREF 103 V app is going to be 110. And we can actually come back here to our arrival and then do the localizer. Oh, there we're doing the VOR alpha. There we go. All right, we can execute that. That's good to go. Everything is good. Or we'll come down and make sure it loaded properly. We're going to go ahead and delete the disco and execute. There we go. Everything is good to go. Now VNAV will bring us down. We have VNAV already set here. Altitude is set. We'll go ahead and manually calculate our own descent point where we need to descend. So we need to cross the VOR at 12,500. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our current altitude or 4,500 and subtract the altitude we need to get to and then multiply by three. So about 97.3 miles. From the VOR, we need to start descending down as far as our descent rate. So we'll round that up to about a hundred miles. Next, we'll give us a little buffer. So we'll round that up to 105 miles for slowing down, getting ready for the approach to about 105 miles from the cones VOR. We'll go ahead and start descending down. We'll go ahead and actually throw that in here. 12,500. Throw that in here. Now VNAV should calculate that for us, but we've already calculated about 105 miles. We need to start descending down. And we are going to descend. We're currently doing 441 over the ground. So it looks like we're going to descend at about 220, 2,200 feet per minute. Utilizing the uh, three degree. All right, let's zoom out and see where. VNAV has us, so we'll come up here. Or we'll range out. It right, looks like our top of the scent is just slightly after dice. Let's go ahead and get some wing views, see what we can get right under the engine. Let's try this one.
Let's go see Red. Make sure we're not over speeding or good to go. Looks like we're a little bit shy of our uh, top of descent there. Go ahead and check our fuel flow. Make sure everything is good to go. Previous leg, there we go. All right, let's go to performance fuel management. We have about an hour and seven minutes till our reserve. Fuel flow is currently 8:35. And we've burned 1190 so far. Currently, our fuel flow is 8:26. Nice. Very nice. All right, we have about 198 miles to go till our destination. We have 26 miles ETE. All right, let's go back to our legs. Make sure craft is cooperating and doing everything well.
let's see what Yekov is doing. All right, looks like top of descent is fastly approaching. All right, let's go ahead and knock out our crease check. Let's finish it real quick. Preservation is good. Ice protection is good. We're going to just go ahead and uh, bring that power back a bit. Let's try 93 on the N1. 93 and one set pressurization is good to go. We'll go over here. It looks like bring our systems page up. Yep. Pressurization is it. Yeah. We have our oxygen PSI is good to go. Very nice. All right, let's make sure we're approaching our top of descent. Oh, let's bring that yoke back. All right, and range in a bit. All right, let's see, prior to our top of the channel, we'll go ahead and brief the approach. And then we'll tune up everything that was required. All right, as far as the, we're gonna be using the VOR, it's gonna be 110.2. And throw right over here in nav. And our final approach course is going to be 095. See if we can tune that course. We're unable to tune right now, which is fine. All right, 095 is going to be the final approach course. And then first thing is it's going to be the cones VOR as stated earlier. Based on where we're coming from, we are not going to do the full procedure turn. We're just going to come in 
over at Station Passage over the VOR and make a right hand turn to 095 for the final approach course. Looking across the VOR at 12,500 after passing the VOR, ICAF is going to serve as the final approach fix and the next fix after the VOR. And we're going to be looking across that at 12,500. After we hit, hit could, after we cross ICAF, actually, let me bring up what I am looking at. All right. So ICAF serves as our final approach fix. Then once we pass ICAF, which is going to be defined as 6.8 from the uh, cones VOR. We'll go ahead and descend down to our MDA of 12,420. So we're only descending about 80 feet. And that's our missed approach point is going to be Massey. That's 11.5 from the VOR there. As far as the missed approach is concerned, uh, it's just going to be immediate climb right hand turn to 14,000 feet. And then, uh, the, via the cones VOR and, uh, zero nine five, and then we'll go ahead and proceed towards the cones VOR and hold there. All right. That takes care of our brief. Let's go ahead and bring that power back. We are descending now. VNAV is bringing us down. Let's bring that power back so we don't overspeed the aircraft. Once we get below 18,000 feet, I'm going to have to bring the cruise tunes down so we can start focusing on the approach. All right, let's go ahead and check on our fuel, bring the power back forward a bit. Make sure we are. Should be a little less fuel flow now. So, yep, we're looking at 474 on the descent. Very nice. We'll go ahead and tune the altimeter as well which is three zero four three. All right. Three zero four three is set. Now, once we hit below 18,000 feet, we just have to hit the bar, push the bar switch in and we'll be good.
Alright, let's bring the power back a bit. We are not trying to overspeed the aircraft.
All right, there is below 18,000 feet. We'll go ahead and get standard off, set our bar out. And we are going to go ahead and uh, stop the cruise tune so we can focus on our landing. We'll actually start bringing the power back so we can start slowing down. We're about 11 miles from the VOR. So power is going to come back. And then as soon as we roll out here, bring our heading straight up. Uh, we'll go ahead. As soon as we roll out, we'll go ahead and um, bring the VOR up. As the aircraft rolls out, all right, there's our roll out there. Power is coming back, so we can we're gonna have to start slowing it down a bit. All right, let's start slowing it down, get that power back. We're about seven miles from the VOR. What we can do, we'll go with this thing, we'll go nav. Disengage the autopilot and then we'll continue on down that of course So we're gonna Shrek towards the VOR first All right, there's our got a thousand feet to go to our altitude. All right, there is below 200. We'll get flaps 15. Watch that balloon effect. And we'll go ahead and turn our heading to zero nine five which is going to be that right hand turn that we're going to turn to all right we'll hold what we got we're looking at station passage now all right coming up on our altitude there's station passage course is going to come to zero nine five Alright, zero nine five on our course is set. We're coming right to intercept that course. We bring that nose up. We can't be we're not allowed to be descending yet. All right, below we'll go ahead and get the gear down below two hundred feet or two two hundred knots. Come a little bit right, come back on course. Do you want to be configured prior to the final approach fix? Final approach fix is going to be ICAF, and we're looking across that 2500. There's our course, and it's going to be identified six point six point eight. And tell your ride traffic citation two zero Mike Sierra as on is on the VOR Alpha runway zero nine. Tell your ride. All right, we are on course. So as soon as we see 6.8, we can descend down to our MDA of 12,420. 
So we'll go ahead and actually bug that. Right on course. Gears down, we'll go ahead and get flaps 30. Watch that balloon effect there. All right, there's 6.5. Right on course. 6.8, we're clear down. Well. Go need to bring that nose back up a bit. Our V app is uh, 110 is what we have for our V app. We'll go ahead and start coming down. Came down low too much. Can't go down below or looks like we have a tailwind. All right, I see the runway is in sight at our 12 o'clock. All right, MAPC is our missed approach point. We already have the field in sight. That's identified as 11.6 DME. There we go, there's 11.6. We're clear to come down. Fuels in sight. All right, gears down, three green, flaps 30 is set. We have our landing and taxi lights on. Make sure we ding our passengers to get seated for the landing. And tell you our traffic citation two zero Mike Sierra is on a uh, five mile final runway zero nine. Uh, be a full stop. Tell you right. All right, we are completely at uh, idle power descending down. It's a pretty steep descent. All right, we'll go ahead and proceed visually. Turn off the flight directors. A little bit left of lineup, so we'll come right. All right, one last check. We got three green flaps 30. Field is in sight for our landing. And tell you right traffic citation 20 Mike Sierra has a one mile final runway 09. Tell you right. There's a wind shifted. It looks like a right quarter crosswind. All right, there is one white, one red, two red, two white on the, right on. There's our V app, 110, don't want to go a bit slower than that. All right, feels made, there we go. Bring that nose idle and just let her touch down. Oh, what we got, oh, what we got. There's our touchdown and dump. We go speed breaks out.
your 60 knots and start breaking. Get our speed break back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Aspen or not Aspen. Tell you ride. Welcome to tell you ride. We're going to exit to the left. Got a little bit floaty there on that landing. But other than that, that was a nicely executed approach. Tell your traffic citation 20 Mike Sierra is clear runway 09 over to the ramp. Tell you ride. All right, let's get our parking brake on and clean up some of these items real quick. Let's get the flaps all the way up. All right, flaps up, pedal heat is off. Let's bring that checklist back up here and see what we can do. All right, descent is done. We pretty much did the approach. And everything was set there. So we'll go ahead and check them all off. All right, no need to go around. We are all good. All right, after landing, speed break is at zero. Flaps at zero. Pedal heat's off. Ice protection wasn't used. Rad Radar wasn't used and exterior lights are off. Checklist complete. Go ahead and uh, get that parking brake off. And we'll proceed on to our parking. Go. Gotta advance that power to get up this hill. Oh, we have a marshaller. There he is, calling us ahead, but we have one of his guys right in the middle. I don't know why we 
we have an unknown marshal just hanging in the middle of the the runway there so not the runway but the taxi area so we just go right around him all right just moving out the way oh all right there she goes out of the, out of the way All right, brakes are on. Go ahead and get a parking brake on. All right, parking brake is set. Let's go and get our engines off. All right, engines are coming down, spooling down. We'll get a few cautions and warnings as the engines spool down. Because we are getting majority of items coming out. Fuel pressure, or pressure, battery amp, or pressure. Alrighty. That is set. Engines are down, ITT's fully down, and one's no longer spinning, and two is barely spinning. Everything is all set, good to go. All right, we'll go ahead and turn off our standby. Bring that yoke back there. Now we'll go ahead and go completely cold. All right, now that avionics are off, we'll go ahead and get the battery off. All right, once again, that was another completed amazing flight. We like to take business trip from uh, different locations, and this one was not any different. So, as always, once again, I am Mr. Proach. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See you.